Yeah, yeah, that one right there. Okay. Yeah. I, the one. I interviewed FBG. Yeah, that one. I that interviewed one. FBG Cash, and this was a clip. Oh, uh, man. Adam22 on Joe Budden's podcast. Just what we needed. These two dudes to actually get on a podcast together. And why not? Why not Joe Budden bring up some real controversy? Like, yo, Joe... You was a fool for that. Because <laughs> uh, you knew what you was doing. You knew what you was doing with that one. But look, if y'all didn't watch the podcast yet with Joe Budden and his crew, Adam22 was visiting on it. Joe Budden brought up some points. I'm going to say points because this is a conversation that's always going to be argued from left hand to right hand. In other words, there's same people, there's two different sides about it. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you can't really, in a sense, have a complete right answer. But if you know Adam 22 and you know Joe Budden, you should know that is top tier argument type of people, in a sense. Because realistically, Adam 22 should have just answered it like this. If that's the case, they might not come to my podcast because they were saying people are going to his podcast because basically he got clout. He's got one of the biggest podcast interviews, you know, platforms out him, Vlad TV, Compone News. People are going to die to go on there. And he should know that, you know, they're going to. If that's the case, as Adam 22, I would have said, regardless of them going on my podcast or not. That's going to get out regardless. Because you see these fools on the music videos. You see these fools on the internet. They're going to do it regardless. They're going to interrogate. They're, they're going to. They're going to put themselves in predicaments regardless. Because this is what the rap music is nowadays. So for for Adam 22 to be wrong for what he's doing. There's a lot more things that you need to bring up. Instead of him just asking the questions. Because he's doing nothing outside of the ordinary. Nothing outside the... If we were so worried about these young black men doing these interviews, I will personally get all these young black men as OGs. As OGs in the game. Because y'all are OGs. Joe Budden's an OG in this game. And other people. I will put all these fools on the same phone or whatever the hell to get these dudes to talk. If you guys really are worried about these dudes putting out and destroying themselves with these interviews, I would get all these dudes, these rappers that are beefing with each other, get them on the phone with each other. There, there's somebody that could do that. But that's not what's going on here. This is basically bullying. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I know a hundred other interviewers that do the same thing and ain't been pressed about it. So, hey, look, that's just my opinion. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. Let, make sure y'all like and subscribe as well. And, you know, you guys let me know how you feel about this. Because, honestly, in my perspective, I felt like Joe Budden was on his, his button shit. You know what I'm saying? He was on his button shit. So, yeah, you know, it's your boy Kodak Blow Up. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. If we were so worried about these young black men...